You gonna drink some coffee? No, I'll let you have yours first, that way. Give it a little time to kick in, we don't shit at the same time. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's clockwork with coffee. After two cups, Mother Nature calls. I wish we had two bathrooms. I was watching The View the other day, and... You watched The View? Yeah, it's my shame show. Shame show? Yeah, shame show. You know, the show you watch but don't want anyone to know you watch it. I'm telling you because we talk about everything, but I wouldn't mention it to anyone else. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've always had a shame show. When I was a teenager, it was Dawson's Creek. I had on a bit Buffy kick for a while, but now it's The View. I love Whoopi. Oh, Ghost. She got the Oscar for that. She's, um, she's incredible. She's my favorite on The View. So Jennifer Lawrence was on the other day, and I started thinking, do we still need an acting class anymore? How'd that audit go, by the way? He wanted me to pay $50. $50 just to audit? I didn't go. I'm not filling his gas tank just to see if I want to join a class. Good for you, man. J-Law never took an acting class. Really? No formal training, no fancy theater degree, no Meisner. None of that. He was an Oscar winner for uh, Silver Linings Playbook. Nominated for Joy. And American Hustle. And Winter's Bone. Look at that. No classes, no filling gas tanks, nothing. Yeah, but you know, she's good, though. And she probably got lucky. You know, acting isn't that hard. Even Marlon said it. People make it out to be this thing that's almost unobtainable. Yeah, anyone can act badly, but if you have any sense of the world around you or some self-awareness, you can be an actor. It's getting the big break. That's very hard. We went to that party yesterday, which was filled with desperation. Everyone there. We're all stuck in the same boat, floating around the wrong party. The lucky ones are on shore enjoying the real party, while most of us are stuck on the water, weathering the storm, riding it out. We row and row and row until we can't anymore. We all just give up eventually and let ourselves drift off, float all the way back to where we came from. We're in the second largest city in the country, but it's filled with a bunch of transplants. Boy, this city gets lonely sometimes. It's exhausting too, trying to impress the right people, doing anything you can in hopes to have something to show your family and friends back home. Something that you hope will make them proud of you. Something that you hope will make them say, wow, there goes Gabe. All his hard work and dedication paid off. I don't want to come off as desperate, ever. But yet, here I am. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I got the American hustle. Where's the silver lining in my playbook? Where's my joy? I just want to do what I love and get paid for it. Is that asking too much? You see what you just did right there, Gabe? What you just did was good acting. I mean, if, if you could find a way to do that, deliver lines like that with honesty, some, some emotion, make it look effortless, mimic that in front of a camera, you, you could be a working actor. I mean, you should be a working actor. Fuck Mark and Dane and all that sense memory bullshit. You know, you got it, man. You got what it takes. If somebody could be a... You know, a teacher after four years of schooling, then why, why shouldn't you be a paid wor working actor after four years of training? You can give a heart transplant after eight. Yeah, well, I mean, let's be honest. If you haven't found work as an actor after eight years, it's probably not in the cards. You should figure something else out. If only there was a way to show people that we can act. Yeah, like really act, not just some under five on a show. Something that helps scratch the creative itch. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'd be happy with anything at this point. 
I just, I don't want to be, you know, cop number three, whose only line is, there's no blood in there, chief, or some stupid shit like that. I would, something with depth would be great. Then I don't want to be some neighbor with a couple lines and a sex scene and that be it. You see, what I, I did was I cast myself to my type. I, I, I do see you as a neighbor, but also that neighbor who has uh, body parts in his freezer. I look like a psychopath? It's just the eyes. The, you got a hint of psycho. It's you, you, everything else very handsome and charming. Your eyes are just. You, you look like a plumber. If I were to hire a plumber, I would expect someone like you to show up. And that's fine. I've accepted it. I have the attributes of, I have a plumber's body. I have the body of a plumber, you know? But Casey Affleck, right, won an Oscar for playing a handyman who also did a little bit of plumbing. He won an Oscar for playing a grieving father who accidentally sets his house on fire, killing his children. My point is, we just have to know our types. Once we figure that out, we go from there. That's it. I mean, how about this construction? <sighs> Too early. Right, you'd think they'd give us some sort of like warning, like a, a note on the door, an email or something. I mean, hey, listen, you're gonna be woken up at 7 a.m. from the sounds of hammers and saws. I mean, what is this shit? Eric, when your rent is less than 2,000 a month, you can't expect any kind of notice. Just be happy to have a roof over your head. You can have your coffee now.